What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 720 and I'm back with another video. Um, before I start this video, I want to, I have an announcement to make. I'm firing my attorney, RXL209. Get your ass out of here. He hustled me in the game of Madden. I told him I didn't play the game of Madden about 16 years and he, he fully took advantage of that. You guys can go check out this, this channel. I'm quite sure he uploaded a video. Tag it. But anyway, um... Also, like I said, I'll, uh, like I said, I read all you guys' comments. And a lot of you guys have been asking. I've been talking, like, I mean, not that I'm pulling it out of my ass, no homo. Pause. But, um, I've been having problems leaving links inside my videos. I don't know if it has something to do with my partnership or whatever the case may be. But I've been having problems leaving links. And going to the partnership. I like to thank all you guys that have been subscribed to me since day one. Even you new guys, whatever the case may be, for... Rocking out with your boy. You guys have known as of late, this is the first channel really of mine that I might my monetize, monetize or make money off or whatever the case may be. Monetize, there you go. Make money off, you know what I mean? So after three weeks, I've received a partnership, um, you know. So like I said, you know, thanks to all you guys. Because I don't, I don't do, I do this because I like it, I love it, you know what I mean? But like I said, I like to give a shout out. And so all you guys have been sub to me since day one and you know, like rocking out with your boy. Enough of that. Um, I read an interesting article. Like I said, I'm going to try to leave a link in the description. If it doesn't happen, forgive me. It's not because of me. I'm having a problem. I got to speak to them. I don't know what the hell's the problem. But anyway, it says um, the Durango to be backwards compatible and have two upscaler chips. Something they don't mention, though, is the new Xbox will have two scalar chips that which is cool about that is that the UI, which is the user interface, can always be displayed in 1080p. While in-game rendering, resolutions can be scaled to increase perf as needed to dynamic resolutions. Basically saying that we're going to have a real pretty, vibrant, colorful interface. And that most likely that the old Xbox 360 games, when you put them inside the new Xbox 720, Xbox 8, Xbox Infinity, Infinity whatever you want to call it, is going to upscale those games, um, make them look better. Now, what do you guys prefer? Do you, do you prefer 1080p? at 30 frames per second, or do you prefer 720p at 60 frames a second? Now, you know, you know the, the, the verdict is still out. We don't know. Everyone's talking about, you know, you know, next generation is still going to be maybe 1080p at 30 frames per second. Like, I don't know. I never played in 60 frames per second, exposed, but, you know, you know, so I don't really know what the hell I'm missing. That's why I'm kind of scared of getting a PC, I'm going to be honest with you. I got one here in my car here that Dream 308 helped me build. Shout out to him, him and Hardy. Um, and like I said, my birthday, you don't know, my birthday is coming up in about two weeks. Uh, and, you know, I was thinking about a birthday gift for myself. Um, exposed. I got something here. Let me, I mean, I may open it up and share what you got. I got it from New Age, but I wish, I mean, I may open it tomorrow. But um, anyway, like I said, um, maybe it's a birthday gift to myself. Um, so, like I said, I'm scared. You know, they said once you get a gaming PC, you're done with consoles. And I'm like, I have friends on the Xbox 720. I'm sorry, I have friends on the Xbox 360. I've been playing with them jokes since the original Xbox, and you know, I have friends on the PlayStation Network and stuff like that. So you know, that's why I'm a little hesitant about buying a gaming PC. You know, what I'm saying, like I said, you know, I most because I'm the type of guy that I got to have everything. And honestly, I never thought about getting a gaming PC. It never crossed my mind. I always thought you had to play with the, the mouse and the keyboard, and all. You know, I never, it never really crossed my mind. So I never was any, really into getting a gaming PC, and since I, you know, came to the YouTube community, I've been watching a lot of gameplay, and they've been playing on PCs, and I was like, damn, and like I said, you know, and then like I said, I was like, and then I go to, like yesterday, I go to play a little bit of uh, model, um, Medal of Honor, Warfare, whatever the hell you call it, and that game looked horrible, I'm like, oh my god, I was looking at somebody playing on the PC, you know, on YouTube, and I put it on my Xbox 360, I was like, damn. I can't do that. I took that shit out and, you know, I played a couple games with NBA 2K. I'm like, well, I can't do it, you know. I, mean, I got a couple great games in there. Like, I, I, you know, I have yet to finish The Witcher 2, which is a great game, you know what I mean? But I'm looking at it on the PC and I look at it on the console. I'm like, my God, like, I can't do this, you know what I mean? So, exposed with me. Like I said, I have a, actually, I have two I have two um, Xbox Live accounts. Uh, I guess Hard and Close Up teasing me, saying I don't finish a lot, which is not true. I, I've, I play what I like. You know, I mean, some things just catch my attention and, and it gets to me, grabs me, and it holds me, and I play through it. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, my, the money is never racing because I have a 16-year-old who's a gamer, and he 
comes and takes a lot of my games, you know what I mean? But if I like it, I'll play through it, you know what I mean? Exposed. Now, also, if you guys been living under the rock, you guys know that I have a, a bet with Dr. Trey. He's saying that the Wii U won't sell 10 million, I'm sorry, sell 10 million within the first year. And like I said, every week we're going to do, I want to talk about sales. So I guess I did a video about the uh, PlayStation All-Stars development being shut down, you know, suffering massive layoffs because people didn't go out and support the game. So most likely you guys won't see a part two. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, because the first one didn't sell too hot. Like I said, you never know. You know, but Sony knows that they're are for cranking out exclusive after exclusive, which is cool. But no one buys them. Like you take prime example, guys like Rated D. I said he said, mentioned something on my video, and I said you didn't even buy the game. So you know, he, one of the biggest Sony fanboys on his website doesn't even own this. I guess one of Sony flagship titles, PlayStation All Stars. To prove my point, like you guys don't go out and, and buy these games. Prime example, I talked about the Nintendo lovers. You guys wanted third-party support, now you got third-party support. And you don't go out there, what's that? Uh, Batman, with his 70,000 units sold worldwide. Tech and Tag Tournament 2 sold less than 10,000 units since, since launch worldwide. Like, come on. Like, developers are in, you know, the business to making money. No one's going to continue to take, you know, to put these games on this console if they don't sell. So can you really blame Crytek? You know, for not putting their game, Crisis 3, on the Wii U. And they said it was a business decision by EA. Okay, I understand that. But why is it a business decision? Because no one, you know... I think, is Crisis 3 bigger than... Is it more Is it more popular than, than Call of Duty? I don't think so. I like Crisis better, but that's my opinion. But look at look at Call of Duty launch sales. 6,000 units. The, the beat is out so Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? But anyway, go on, speak, since we're speaking of sales... The Wii U in North America sold 12,587 consoles during the week, last week. 7,933 in Europe and 16,000 in Japan. For the week total of January 19, uh, 32, I'm sorry, 39,390 consoles. That's a, they're not going to get to 10 million by only selling less than 40,000 consoles a week. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not trolling. I'm Like I said, men lie, women lie, numbers do not lie. Trey had my $50 for slap the shit out you. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. And like I said, thank you all you guys who support me from day one. And as I always say, bang, bang. Ah Damn, dog. 16000 for the week. <laughs> say now, nah, I'm bugging. But anyway, nah, shout out to everybody, man. Bang. Hey, listen, everybody talk about that bang, bang, man. Come on, man, that's mine. Leave that bang, bang alone, man. If you guys really know what it means, y'all want me saying that, man. Because, but anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. Maybe one day I will explain to you guys where it came from, the whole bang, bang. And it came from something negative. Well, I won't say negative, but you guys, some of you guys won't understand. You're frowning your face up with it. But, but I just like to put a little humor at the end of it. So the same was popping, be same as banging. So you guys, you know... If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Instead of me saying what's popping, nigga, what's banging. So, but anyway, bang, bang.